This here is our second Omega constellation guide to beat the reference jungle. This time we are focusing on the executions featuring the so-called C-shaped case design. Another Gerald Genta classic. So if you ask yourself how to date such a model, if it's rather an early or late C-shape execution, you will find it out in today's video. The Omega constellation is one of the most well-known watches today and throughout its brilliant history. However, looking back on 70 years of this flagship, numerous references as well as completely different designs have come up. You just easily lose track of how much the constellation has evolved. This here is our second guide on our way through the reference channel, the C-shape era. The so-called C-shape era lasted for 14 years, from 1964 to 78, a critical period in all of watchmaking history. Did you know that during the 1960s, Omega's constellation collection sold better than the Rolex Datejust? Especially the Piper and Diet versions have been a major factor in the success of the brand during its time. But also in the 1960s, Omega, along with Gerald Genta, did a 180 degree turn and came up with an entirely new design. So how did this all play out? The C-shape was the third version of Omega's Constellation Collection and was introduced in 1964. It was designed by none other than Gerald Genta and was to become a design revolution to the collection, while the pie pan was still in production. In stark contrast to the late Art Deco style of the pie pan constellation, the C-shape featured a much cleaner dial with slim baton hands and jet markers, a modern take on the constellation concept. The namesake for this piece comes of course from the new K-shape reminding one of two C's opposite each other. According to legend, Genta shoots this shape with the third iteration of constellation series in mind, literally the third letter of the alphabet. This elongated case gives the watch a larger feel than the pipe and constellations, as you can clearly see it on these two wrist shots. But it is still roughly the same diameter. It's a shape that fits very well in an era when larger cases are generally becoming more popular. So the question now becomes, how many different iterations of this model do we see? What variations exist and what makes the C-shape such a classic? Here you can see a list of common Omega Constellation references from the C-shape era, the key design features and some of the known variants. As already mentioned in the last video, if something should to go too fast for you here today, you always have the possibility to read the complete article about the video on our website. They will also find all graphics to download or copy. We link you the article in the video description below. But let's get back to the reference chart. All in all, we see about seven main references appear between 1964 and 1978. The main evolutions of the C-shaped constellations happened it by movement updates. From the original 561, shared with several Python references, to the 564 and the 751, the day-date version up to the thousand variants with both date and day date. And with every movement update, Omega introduced subtle variations in the design as well. The hour markers and hands got a little thicker over time, fluted bezels were introduced in 1966, and the dial font and text arrangement changed for the last iterations of the C-shape. On these two shots, you can see subtle nuances differentiate between the early 168009 from 1966 and the later 168017 from 1970. First, the hands and hour marker are slimmer on the early reference. Second, the 168017 on the right side displays a San Gullioch finished bezel, putting in it between classic flat and fluted bezels. Third, the crown is less pronounced in the later model and shows more grooves. And number four, several C-shaped constellations featuring a frosted gold dial finishing, as you can see it on the right side. Yet these dials variations occur all throughout the C-shape era. Interestingly, all constellation date models of the time, also counting the pipe inversions, featured the same bevel date window. This Connie with the reference 168054 from 1970, for example, falls exactly into the C-shape era, but does not have a C-shaped case at all. Nevertheless, it's attributed to the C-shape era but it is more commonly only referred to as a TV-shaped case. Furthermore, this specific constellation reference is very interesting because it was one of the first integrated bracelet watches ever. But how significant is the variance really? We examined the watches available on the market to find out how often which options can be found. 
Here we are looking particularly at the used materials, bezel style, dial texture and color. The features that actually vary the most for these timepieces. For the absolute numbers, two very interesting patterns emerge. First, it appears most C-shaped constellations are available from the late 1960s, indicating that late references are not as sought after at the moment or simply not being produced that much. Second, the C-shape is also much less available than its predecessor, the Pipe and Connie. Combine this with the vintage prices at the moment and you can see that the Pipe Pen is definitely the more appreciated watch by collectors and enthusiasts right now. Overall, we see clean design elements dominate the picture. In the material distribution, we observe over 53% of T-shaped pieces come in steel compared to only about 38% of the Pipe Pen executions. On top, 36% come with a bright dial, silver or white, versus 34% in gold and 7% in black and blue combined. And if the customer of the time wanted something with a little extra flavor, Omega introduced texture as a new design dimension. About 34% of these C-shaped constellations came with a fluted bezel. About 36% came with these stunning frosty dial patterns. And 22% of pieces had both bezel and dial texture. If we take all these information into account, it's sure that the C-shape truly is a standalone piece in Omega's history. It is not simply a successor to an outstanding design, the Pipe and Constellation. It writes its own story and is something completely new. If anything, this third generation should be seen more as the shy minimalistic big brother of the Pipe and Constellations. The supple markers, hands and the ultra slim bezel really leave a lot of dial to these pieces while elongating the wrist presence with its case. From a design perspective, it's a remarkably novel and contemporary approach Omega took here. Finally, what connects the Pi Pen and the C-shaped constellation, if not the design? Quite simply, it's a concept of high precision and accuracy. And the implementation of this idea in completely different frames without sticking to past designs is a real testimony to this core concept. Staying true in the one dimension that mattered to the brand is what put these timepieces apart from the pack. Era by era by era. So that's it for the C-shaped generation. In the next reference guide, we will follow with the Omega Constellation Manhattan. So see you soon.